Good evening, friends. Welcome to Astra, the daily current affairs. This is 21st of June, 2023. Uh, I have been on leave for the past 20 days, so I couldn't make a videos. Nonetheless, uh, what I do is from today onwards, every day there will be current affairs, and every weekend there will be quick revision program of the current affairs, uh, so that it will be helpful for the guys who are following it sincerely. Now, what I am going to discuss in my Astra, uh, as many new candidates are following this. Look, whenever I write like this, it means you have to use only that highlighted part in that aspect of uh, syllabus. Whenever I say it is for prelims, that will be for prelims, no need to read the entire things. Whenever that is required, I will tell what is required. Uh, and whenever I have underlined something with the yellow color, that means there are definitions, blue color, that means way forward, green color means things which are going on, and red color means uh, red color indicates some dangerous things which are happening dangerous things what are the negatives in any uh, uh, actions right that is the thing so let me start supreme court clears central forces in west bengal where you can use this just remember this uh, west bengal is going for local body elections recently the high court of kolkata has said that central forces has to be involved in order to conduct these elections in a free and fair manner this was challenged by the West Bengal government in Supreme Court and Supreme Court has withheld the High Court order, which means the central forces can be there in the West Bengal. No need to remember everything. The question is, this is relating to federal relations between the center and the state and it is relating to local body elections. How local body elections has to be made free and fair? Because we all know that local body elections are conducted by separate state election commission that will be functioning under the state government. Hence. Uh, there is huge scope of uh, misconduct in these elections regularly this was happening so Supreme Court has intervened into this matter and said that central forces has to be involved. Uh, next one is Pradhan Mantri Modi or Prime Minister Modi has visited USA so in this context relations between India and USA are important for PSIR as well as for general studies international relations so we will discuss this over a period of time because he has visited yesterday there will be updating news. Assam rightly plans to secure lifeline of Manipur hills. Additional, now what is Assam Rifles? This is internal security aspect. In the Northeast insurgency, you have this uh, relations. So, Northeast Myanmar, we all know that Manipur is in turmoil because of the dispute between Kukis and Maitis, which was started one month back. Now, the Central Armored Police Force, that is Assam Rifles, uh, paramilitary force of Assam Rifles, is the one which is looking at this uh, disputes. Now, this is the thing that you have to remember. Assam Rifles is maintaining. Law, law and order only for internal security purpose nothing is more important stampede like situation in hyderabad balkampe temple festival where you can use disaster management this is crowd made disasters right next one uh, only that heading is important no need to remember the entire things next one is telangana state has received only 15 millimeters of rainfall as against 83 millimeters so far in this month we have to receive 83 but this shows that El Nino has its impact on Indian monsoons. With the 10 days left, Karnataka strives to launch a rice scheme. In order to win the elections, uh, the Indian National Congress has announced that they are going to give a free rice scheme uh, and this can be used in freebies versus welfare mechanism of the government. Anyhow, the central government this year, they are distributing free ration uh, in the public distribution system. So in line with that, government of Karnataka has started Anna Bhagya scheme. But the thing is, in order to make this Bhagya scheme successful, they should have rice, but this rice is not available in uh, Karnataka. Again, this is the aspect between the center and the state, because if you look at the public distribution system, the procurement under MSP is done by the central government, and it is the duty of the central government to ensure that uh, rice or uh, the food grains are available with the state governments to the limited extent. Now, what uh, Siddharamaya, the chief minister of Karnataka is telling is, uh, the central government is not supporting in giving this food grains to the state that shows that cooperative federalism is not working. So this thing you can use in federal relations. Just one line. Remember, welfare stick measures versus freebies. Democratic forces must come together to end BJP rule, says Stalin. Not that relevant. Just remember that. So today there were some editorials. One is written by Gopal Krishna Gandhi, a people of Emraland, uh, Aizal, waiting with Dusras. Now this is related to Sri Lankan issues. So no need that much. I have gone through this article. We didn't find any important thing. A welcome step where you can use this PSIR. This is for PSIR students. What is this? The Secretary of State of USA, Mr. Uh, Anthony Bilkin has visited 
China recently. In this context, this article was written. So we all know that from the last one year or two years, the relations between USA and China are in turmoil. But the recent visit has risen hopes amidst this pessimistic uh, attitude of the two nations. So this clearly has shown that what we want or the what world wants is not conflict, but uh, what we want is not conflict or confrontation, but what we want is stable current relationships. So in this meeting, uh, Anthony Blinken has made it very clear that we have to strengthen high level com challenges of communication to make clear our positions and intentions in areas of disagreement and might have to work together on shared transnational challenges. Why I have highlighted this is this will be the vision of any state as a part of its uh, international security perspective or uh, security of a nation or a security of any country. So this you can use it in answer writing for any country strengthen high level challenges. If you want to discuss India Pakistan relationships that will be the solution India China relations this should be the solution. So that is the thing. So what the essay is telling or editorial is telling this uh, China and uh, uh, USA are fighting for a very long time. Now this is a welcome step that uh, high diplomatic channels or dialogues has resumed again. This is a very welcome step not only for the both countries but for the entire global order. That is one thing. Embedded in hate only one sentence this is dealing with the so called uh, American Department of Justice report saying that in America police power is misused. The executive is misusing its power in order to suppress the rights of uh, the so called blacks there. Hence, this can be used in essay writing and ethics. We can say that even in the oldest democracy, uh, discrimination against uh, class is present. Which class? The so called uh, the white, some blacks is present. So, in some answer writing, you can use this. Raval Pindi gains the upper hand in troubled Pakistan. <coughs> now, what is this about? This statement is about, this question is about. Uh, recent uh, incidents which are happening in Pakistan not that important for general studies but for PSIR students let me give a quick review what it is speaking. It is speaking that <coughs> in Pakistan there is always a rivalry between the ruling parties or opposition parties versus the so called the Rawalpindi headquartered army. So whenever they say Rawalpindi gained it means army has gained substantial portion compared to the uh, government. So what it had said is uh, considering the so-called recent incidents which has happened against uh, the so-called Imran Khan, the ex-Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan tried to suppress the military but what happened over a period of time is this suppression couldn't succeed. Overall uh, what it led is uh, military has been successful in containing the rise of the governments or the oppositions as a result military is gaining power unlike the so-called democratic government. This is troubling Pakistan only one thing we all know that in Pakistan there is a trilateral uh, coordination one is between the military second one is democratically elected governments the third one is the religious heads always they are at confrontation as a result nothing can be sustainable in either in Pakistan but if you look at India there will be no tri partition of power in India power is vested with the democratic form of government and the rest of the two are subsidiary to this government. But in Pakistan, the difficulty is at times military exercises the power, at times democratically elected government has the power, at times religion heads has the power. Hence, whatever the discussions that goes with Pakistan in the international level, always that will not be substantial because army will intervene into this and they will take away the rights of the elected government. So this is the thing that we have to discuss or that you have to know over a period of time. That's it. Semiconductor fab, the unfinished agenda. Now, what is this? The government of India in the year 2022 has started semiconductor mission. Now, why government of India has started this? The reason is uh, India is a growing electronics manufacturing industry, but the semiconductors that are required for this electronic gadgets have been heavily imported from uh, China, followed by Southeast Asian economies. Now when we are heavily dependent on it, there is every chance that on the strategic interests of other countries, they may choke our semiconductor imports. Hence government of India with a long vision that uh, there will be susceptibility to cor corrosion or coercion by uh, the exporting countries. We wanted to become Atma Nirbhar in developing our own semiconductors. With that vision, government of India has launched. 
Now, if you look at America, China, China has gained the traction over a period of time in semiconductors by overcoming or surpassing USA and Britain over a period of time. Why? China has started this semiconductor fabrication 20 years back, that is in the year 2002, but India has launched it in 2022. So, China was very, uh, the model that China has grown is what China did. They have acquired loss making fabs, fabs means semiconductor industries from across the world and that they have built the semiconductor industry. So they have turned out the last, last making manufacturing sector into, uh, into a positive aspect. But in India, government is giving incentives to launch some green uh, semiconductor fabs, which means uh, without going for the ones which are already working. So India is having some problems in this direction. One is investors, investments is very less in India for the semiconductors. So billions of investment is required. The second one is small freight to price ratio and zero customs duty is always creating a problem in India as far as this is considered. And the third one is semiconductor industry requires high technology which might not be available in India. It requires huge amount of clean water to be made available. The art of chip making requires technology. All these are not present. So whenever I say red ink, that means uh, these are the difficulties that India has. So blue ink means what are the positive aspects that we can look at. So this means general discussion on the topic. So this is the thing. So at least government of India has started 20 years later, but this is a good move in the right direction. So this was what the editorial has been discussing. India and US share shared vision of democracy and diversity. Just remember this in the international perspective, we can write India US relationship. We share same diversity values, same democratic values. China blocks, again China is uh, unleashing its uh, mad power to protect the terrorists. China blocks the proposal at UN to blacklist 26 by 11 terror accused Sajid Mir. Sajid Mir is the fellow who has been involved in 26 by 11 attacks. Now India tried uh, to designate him as the global terrorist under 1267 Al-Qaeda sanctions committee. This is prelims question. 1267 committee at the UN is related to Al-Qaeda sanctions. Right. Now, uh, China has been doing it consistently over a period of time to support Pakistan because China is uh, the supporter of Pakistan. Through this mechanism, China is blocking uh, India's perceptions or India's uh, efforts to designate these persons as global terrorists. Now, what happens when a person is designated as global terrorist? What advantage that India will get? The advantage is simple. Wherever this fellow is present, whether he is present in Afghanistan, Pakistan, wherever this man is present, the respective state governments or the national governments has to take responsibility to arrest him and produce uh, to the G7 countries, show the, to the G7 countries that this fellow was arrested. Otherwise, under FATF, Financial Action Task Force, the G7 countries might reject to, to give economic uh, funding to these countries like Pakistan or Afghanistan. So this is one economic sanctions through which terrorism is being controlled. More assembly seats for SCs and STs in Assam. This can be used in GS paper too. Now, what is this delimitation commission? So, by freezing the delimitation of uh, the total number of seats in the state legislative assembly of Assam and uh, Lok Sabha representation of Assam, what they have did is they have modified the SCs and STs. The only question is who has this capacity to modify Election Commission of India and Thursday has announced it based on 2011 census based on the delimitation. Commission. Please look at the Delimitation Act in your uh, Lakshmi Khan book. Chain line 1098 to be merged with 112 line in nine states. Now, what is this 1098? So far, uh, the chain children who were um, under distress, they were to be dealt by. They were dealt by the helpline number of uh, 1098, which was merged by, which was looked after by some NGOs since 1995. What government of India did is why to have these many number of numbers. Let's mix this with 112. So if there is some uh, attack on children, you can directly call 112 and you can do it. Now where you can use this? This can be used in governance. Rather than having too many schemes or too many overlaps, just with one number you can do. So this is uh, called as government of India calls this as one nation, one helpline scheme. So just like one nation, one tax, one nation, one ration, this is one nation, one helpline. So this is easing the governance norms. Nearly 2300 adaptations were done in nine months. So this can be just remembered as social justice aspect. Now, how can adaptations be done in India? They were done under Juvenile Justice Act. 
so that you have to remember juvenile justice act is taking care of it juvenile justice act has been amended in the year 2021 with two major changes what are the two major changes the first major change is district magistrates are empowered to give powers for adaptation earlier courts used to give now the district magistrate or the district collector has this power the second one is it also empowers the collectors to independently evaluate the functioning of the child protection units in the districts along with the child welfare communities so district magistrate can look how this uh, powers or how this uh, juvenile justice centers are being worked so committees welfare mechanisms is with the collector so in short juvenile justice act 2021 which was amended in 2021 has given more powers to the collector to ensure that there is no delay in uh, uh, organizing the things at the quickest way next national bank for financing infrastructure and development is aiming to generate 60000 crore rupees as loans by march 2024 now this is important guys national bank for financial uh, national bank for financing infrastructure and development what is this it is developmental financial institution if you look what is developmental financial institution financial intermediaries in india are classified into three types one is banks second one is non banks third one is developmental financial institutions so developmental financial institutions will be mobilizing the money for some developmental purposes like long term infrastructure projects so nab fid is the new thing that was announced by the government of india in the budget 2021 under the budget under the finance ministry ship of ms sitaraman so now what this is looking is it want to mobilize 60000 crores as loans for infrastructure projects now the loans offer 7.43% of unsecured non convertible debt securities of 10 year t not so the term is 10 years and they are non convertible debt securities what are non convertible you cannot convert that debt into equity if you are able to convert debt into equity they are called convertible bonds but they are non convertible this might be the prelims question so nab fid releases the bonds which are non convertible in nature which has almost uh, 7.43 this might not be asked so 10 year tenor which is long term infrastructure projects they are giving this so that is prelims question climate breakdown the antarctic ocean could be ice free by 2030 that was the report now what i am interested here is after reading this entire article only one sentence is important they have used the term blue ocean event what is blue ocean event when the antarctic ocean becomes ice free in summer antarctic ocean becoming ice free is known as blue ocean event and it is defined as when the sea ice area drops below 1 million square kilometers if it is getting below 1 million square kilometers then that is called uh, blue ice blue ocean event so remember that term blue ocean event that is important so the next one that you have is what is the contention between coal india and cci i'll discuss this in a separate quick video please go through it anxiety disorders this is not for for upsc if you are feeling some anxiety or for general understanding you can read it so this is the thing that you have so whenever i say don't read don't read it just quickly glance what i have underlined you can find this uploaded uh, underlined sections underlined paper in the description box below this channel thanks for joining have a great day